Peripheral neuropathy in prediabetes and the metabolic syndrome. Do you have one of the following nine signs? Number one, tingling in the hands or feet or sharp, stabbing pain, especially at night or while sleeping. Number two, numbness in the hands or feet. Number three, a weak, heavy feeling in the arms and legs, sometimes akin to limbs locking in place. Number four, dropping things frequently from your hands. Number five, a buzzing or shocking sensation. Number six, a drop in blood pressure. Number seven, sexual dysfunction, especially in men. Number eight, digestive difficulties, constipation or diarrhea. Number nine, excessive sweating. This new research article points out that even though you are not classified as diabetic according to the arbitrary numbers set by the Diabetic Association, it can start much earlier than that. Pre-diabetes is the most common cause of neuropathy, accounting for 50% of cases. Over half of people with diabetes develop neuropathy, and diabetic peripheral neuropathy is a major cause of reduced quality of life due to pain, sensory loss, gait instability, fall-related injury, and foot ulceration and amputation. According to the World Health Organization, the number of people with diabetes has risen from 108 million in 1980 to 422 million in 2014. What does that tell you? The advice given by doctors and health organizations is not doing enough to even put a dent in the numbers. What is peripheral neuropathy? Peripheral neuropathy occurs when the nerves outside the brain and spinal cord, known as peripheral nerves, sustain damage. This condition often leads to weakness, numbness, and pain, primarily affecting the hands and feet. However, it can also impact other areas of the body, including digestion and urination one. Here are some key points about peripheral neuropathy. Causes. Wait there is more, but do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe, down below. Diabetes is the most common cause, as prolonged high blood sugar levels can damage nerves. Other risk factors include excessive alcohol intake, certain drugs, such as chemotherapy and HIV treatment, vitamin deficiencies, iron or folate, exposure to poisons, insecticides and solvents, and specific cancers, like lymphoma and multiple myeloma. Disclaimer: Consult your healthcare professional before making any changes to your medication or lifestyle. Chronic liver disease can also contribute to neuropathy. Aggressive glycemic control is the effective approach to neuropathy risk reduction in type 1 diabetes. There is no reason why it should not work in type 2 diabetes. So if you are type 2 you need to get your blood sugar well beyond doctor's recommended level and integrate dietary changes with exercise. If you can get to a non-diabetic or pre-diabetic range of HbA1c is the better option. Complications. If left untreated, peripheral neuropathy may lead to diabetic foot ulcers, gangrene, cardiovascular autonomic neuropathy, burns and wounds due to lack of sensation or numbness. Prevention. For diabetic neuropathy, maintain good blood sugar control. Exercise regularly. Quit smoking. Reduce alcohol consumption. Maintain a healthy body weight and blood pressure. Diagnosis. Diagnostic tests may include blood glucose tests, metabolic panels, vitamin B12 tests, nerve conduction tests, x-rays, court scans, MRI, cerebrospinal fluid analysis, electromyography, nerve biopsy, skin biopsy, and heavy metal panels. Treatment options. Address underlying causes, e.g., control diabetes. Medications, NSAIDs, for pain, antidepressants, and anti-seizure drugs. Therapies, transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation, TENS, and plasmapheresis. Self-care, regular exercise, healthy meals, avoiding excessive alcohol, and foot care. Do not forget to click the like button and subscribe. Up, above you see a video related to health. Thanks very much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.